friends, thanks for joining me. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're returning to my channel, thank you guys for all of your love and support. And let's get right into the video. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul and let's just get right into it. So I'll start with the whole reason why I went to Dollar Tree. Uh, it's my coworkers, what's well, my favorite coworkers birthday uh, this week at work. So I wanted to get her a birthday card. So I got her this one right here because she likes like beach themed stuff and I found this card that I thought was really really pretty. It came with this yellow envelope. I don't really know how I feel about it. I think I'm going to go back and get like a Mother's Day card with like a blue envelope or something so I can kind of switch them. Uh, but I got her this card. I really really like the cards at Dollar Tree. I kind of splurged a little. Instead of doing like the two for a dollar cards, I got her the one dollar card because I thought this one was so pretty. This is what it says on the inside. So I picked that up for her. And then I also grabbed a few essential items that I'm going to keep in my car um, just because I you can never have enough of this. Um, but these are hand sanitizing wipes. I'm not familiar with this brand here, but you do get quite a few. You get 80 of them, 80 wipes in this container, and they are to use on your hands. I think that's really nice to keep in the car. Um, we've been using these and we also use them like on the dashboard or to clean stuff off. So I thought I would grab this and keep it on hand. I'm oh, sorry, I gotta like put the stuff down over here. And then I also grabbed a pack of these face masks. I like to keep these in the car because one of us always ends up forgetting our mask. So it's nice to have an extra one on hand just in case. And I grabbed these 75% ethanol wet wipes uh, for home, office, school, vehicle, and travel is what it says right here. Um, you get a hundred wipes in this container and then it comes with like the little um, sealed kind of like sticker over the top. We've already used some of these and they work really well. So I wanted to keep these in the car just so whenever we want to like kind of wipe things down, we have them on hand. And then I also found this lighter. I love picking up these lighters at Dollar Tree, but I wasn't familiar with this brand, so I thought I'd give it a try. This is the Crocs Handy Lighter. I think this is a name brand. I'm not really sure. So I'm hoping it has a little more like lighter fluid than the normal brand does at Dollar Tree. Uh, but either way, I really love keeping these ones on hand with like the little... I don't know what you would call it, but it kind of, it makes it easier to light candles like when they're kind of getting a little bit lower in the jar and you can't like reach your hand in there to light it. These make it a lot easier. And I was able to find some of the Bang Energy drinks. I grabbed three in each of the flavors that they had at the store. So I got the Citrus Twist as well as the Champagne flavored one. I thought these sounded really, really good. And it says here on the back that there's zero carbs, zero sugars, zero calories, no artificial colors. I thought that was really nice. I know this brand can be a little pricey when you pick it up at the gas station. So I thought for just a dollar, it was a really good find. Let me just put these over here in the bag. And then I also got this one. I was super excited to try it. I just opened it up already, but this is the Frosé Rosé. I love rosé, Any, anything flavored rosé I really like. So I thought I would give this a try. And I put it in the freezer to get it cold and then it actually like got frozen. So now it's like a little bit like a slushy, but it tastes really, really good. It's not overly sweet, which I really like, um, but I, I think these are really good. This is my first time ever having one of these. I really don't drink energy drinks, but this is pretty good. I definitely recommend trying one of them out. Even if you're not an energy drink person, um, these are a really good find for just a dollar. So these next two things are actually kind of random that I found them. I didn't think I was gonna find these because these were on my wish list around Easter time, but my store barely put these out with like the spring kind of decor. But I found these little cutting board signs, um, this one with like the carrots on it, as well as this one with like the little Easter eggs. I know we're a little bit past Easter, but I thought I could hold on to these for next year. Well, technically, I, mean, I think you could probably put this one up year round, but it doesn't really match my kitchen. So I think I'm going to just keep these in my like storage area with the rest of my Easter decorations. 
but I'm honestly just really glad that I found these. I really, really wanted them. Um, so I don't mind holding on to them for next year. Uh, but that just goes to show you don't give up hope. If you can't find something, eventually it might, you might show up and you can just pick it up at a later time and just hold on to it, I guess, until the next season. But I'm really happy I found this. So now I'm going to get into the kind of the more apparel items. I did pick up a couple pair of socks. These ones right here are for my sister. My sister has two cats, so when I saw these, I definitely thought of her. And they have all these little cats doing like stretches, and I thought that was really adorable. And then the pair on the back have like all the colors, like the white and black and pink. I thought that was really pretty. So I grabbed these to give to her. And then I also grabbed a pair to throw into my upcoming giveaway. Um, I did hit 500 subscribers like a while ago. Um, so I've kind of been gathering things together for the giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed so you can keep an eye out for that. But I did grab a pair of these socks to include because they kind of reminded me of summertime with like the watermelon on it and just all the different fruits. I thought those were really cute. And then the pair on the back has these little like colorful stripes, which is super adorable as well. So I got these for the giveaway. I also picked up a pair of these flip-flops for uh, the summertime. I thought these were so adorable. They've got the little watermelons on it. Um, I don't know how comfortable these are gonna be, honestly, but I'm just planning on wearing these in the backyard while we're grilling or if we're doing like a fire or something. I'm just gonna wear these, but I think they're really adorable. I love the bright pink color right here. And I also grabbed from the Juncture brand as well, this uh, reusable tote bag. I saw Thrifty Tiffany haul this and I didn't think I was ever gonna find it, but it's this really pretty like large bag. It's light pink with these gorgeous bees on it. It looks really pretty and feminine. And I think this, it looks like you got a lot of space in this bag as well. Looks like there's plenty of room. I think I'm gonna take this to Aldi with me to put our groceries in, or I might use it like when we're traveling to put like the dogs like blanket and their food bowls in. Uh, but either way, I like having a lot of these on hand just because they're good for the grocery store, travel, whatever. And it's really, really pretty. So next, next I'll get into the um, health and beauty stuff that I picked up. Starting with this right here, this has been on my wish list for a while, um, but I finally found these like little loofah sponges that are on like the wooden handles. I think that's really pretty. I think this would look really nice like for like a Mother's Day gift, like with some nice like body wash or bath salts. But I think it looks really pretty like the light pink color with like the natural wood handle. Um, I got this because sometimes it's kind of like I have short arms. It's kind of like hard to reach my back. So I feel like this would work really well. And I, I just think it's really, really pretty looking. I love this pink color. And then my store just got in these um, exfoliating bath cloths. I thought this looked really interesting. I like using a lot of exfoliating products in the shower. Um, I don't know if it if it expands that large, like the picture right here, um, but I'm really excited to try it out and see. I like to like exfoliate on my arms so they're kind of a little more softer. So I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to find a product like this at Dollar Tree. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel very abrasive. It feels like it might be a little bit more gentle on the skin, uh, but either way, I think this makes a really good gift, especially like I said, with Mother's Day coming up, um, this would be something nice to throw into like a gift basket as well. The front of my store, they had this display with a lot of new um, products from Bolero. I'm assuming they put them out for Mother's Day. Um, I didn't, I didn't grab too many of uh, the new items, but I did grab one of the paper facial masks. I got the Hibiscus Rose, um, just because I'm always interested to try any product that has rose in it. And um, I really, really like these face masks from Bolero. They work really well. They're very hydrating. And I just thought I would give it a try. And then I also grabbed another face mask, but this one is by Neutrogena. This is the Deep Clean Purifying Hydrogel Mask. I like these masks right here, the ones that are, I think they feel kind of like, like jelly almost, uh, but that's uh, what it looks like right here on the back. This is how you use it. I got this, and then I also got another mask from Neutrogena. This is the Hydro Boost Overnight Gel Mask. It's just this cute little, like, kind of container right here. And I got both of these to include in my giveaway because I wanted to put some name brand products in there. So I grabbed both of these. I thought they would go really nicely together. 
I grabbed one of these for myself and I really liked it. I put it on last night before bed and I woke up and my skin felt really hydrated. So I wanted to include these for you guys. Next item, I don't know if I already have it, uh, but this is a nail polish from Flower Beauty and it's in the color that's just dandelion and I, it's like a really pretty like super light peach color i think it's really pretty for springtime i haven't tried any of the flower beauty nail polishes yet uh, but i just love the packaging i think it's really cute and then i also grabbed this um this new concealer brush from wet n wild i haven't seen this one at dollar tree yet but this is kind of the more like large concealer brush I don't think I have another brush like this in my like in any of my other sets that I have. So I wanted to pick this one up. I think it would be really nice to use like under my eyes. So I grabbed one of these and then everything else in the haul is beauty related. Now this is something I don't think is new. I'm pretty sure these came out a while ago and my store just never got them. And I was only able to find one and it's the Hard Candy Fox in a Box. Um, this is another example of something that I missed out on originally, and I'm really happy that I was able to finally pick it up. It says it's right here, it's strawberry scented, but I just, I love the color, and I was just really curious to try these out. I love the packaging. I think it's really pretty. And then I also grabbed a lot of other hard candy stuff as well. I got these um, felt tip eyeliners this is the 12 hour smudge proof eyeliner. I love felt tip eyeliners. I think they work really well. So I got one for me and then one for my sister because I think that's something she might like as well. And then the, the last bit of stuff from Hard Candy are these primers. I got the Sheer Envy Perfecting Primer. I believe I have this one like in a smaller like trial size um, tube, but I got this full size one here as well as the um, Pore, Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer Serum. I have a ton of primers from Hard Candy already, but every time I see a new one, I like to pick it up just so I can try it out and see how it works. And then I grabbed this for the giveaway just because I don't think this is something I would use, but because it's a name brand, I did want to include it. But this is the Tame and Defined Wet n Wild uh, Mega Clear uh, Lash and Brow Mascara. So it's just like a clear mascara if you wanted your lashes to look lifted without like, you know, darkening them, or if you want your uh, brows to kind of lay in place like a gel uh, without darkening them, this would be something you could use for that. So I wanted to include that as well in my giveaway. And the last thing I found, I'm really excited because I haven't really tried too many products from this brand, but I know it's a good drugstore brand and it's the Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer. I grabbed two of them, one for me, one for my sister, and it looks like you have like a little like sponge tip like applicator. And this is in medium light. I thought that would be really nice to use like under the eye, but they also had just like regular medium and then they had a more tan shade as well. So it was nice that they got kind of a more like variety of colors with these concealers. Cause I know with like Dollar Tree when they get the concealers or any type of face product in, there's usually not too much of a selection. So my store luckily had at least three different colors to choose from. And I think this will work really well. I'm excited to see how it works. I've heard really good things about this Milani brand. And I just love it when Dollar Tree gets the name brand makeup products. That was everything in my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.